So we're going to do a quick video about replacing the battery on the Lynx controls. You have to remove the back cover of the control. You can generally do this while it's still in the control in the control panel on the of the machine. You just have to remove the the screws that hold the control panel in and turn the control panel over and usually you have access to where you can take this cover off without taking it completely out of the, the face plate. So you remove the back cover and then what you want to do is you want to reconnect the power to the control. See my control is turned is turned back on. Yeah. It's important that the power connection is put back before removing the battery. If you don't, you certainly lose any programs that you have saved in the active memory. So after you've connected the power, there's a jumper right here next to the battery. We're going to remove that jumper before removing the battery. Then you're going to remove the battery from the from the control. It's just a standard CR2032 watch battery. You're going to then put your new battery back in and you're going to put your jumper back on. And then you can switch your power off and remove the connector. And reinstall your cover. Now that the battery has been replaced, generally you're going to have to reload the video pages. Okay, so this is a continuation. We're going to continue on and we're going to load the video pages back into the Lynx control. In order to do that, you're going to have to build a uh, build or purchase a serial port cable. There will be a drawing uh, that you'll have access to that has the layout of what the cable should be like. It's a serial port cable and uh, they're very simple to make. You can get all the parts at your local electronics store. You will also be receiving a copy of the parameters that were loaded into your machine uh, from the factory. These could parameters control the the uh, scale for the encoders and the and the inertia and tolerance of the encoders so that the machine can properly work. Uh, for your serial cable that you're going to build, you're going to end up needing either a computer with a serial port on it or you're going to have to get a serial USB adapter like you can see here. Um, the one I have is a prolific. They're very simple to find. Uh, you can uh, get them almost anywhere and you can down download any drivers that you need. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your cable, your serial port cable, and you're going to connect it to the RS-232 port on the back of the control. Port number two is the one that we're going to connect to. So we're going to connect to that and we're going to turn the power on to our control. So you can see on this control I have only an X, Y, and a Z axis on these video tables. Normally the condition you have is you won't get to this page. You will have warning lost video tables and that's the indication that you need to reload the software. The software required to reload the programs onto the Lynx control is called CM Studio. You'll be provided with a link to where you can download that program so you can install it on your computer. I've installed it here and then when you install it you can choose to install it in English or Italian. If you installed it in Italian by mistake you have, you'll have these three little buttons, uh, menu buttons up here. The center one is the setup button and you can click that and click CM Studio 
and it can take you into where you can change the language from Italian to English. So once it's in English, we can go ahead and open up the project. The project is the program that's going to be installed onto the links. Open project. My project is I put it on the C drive in the folder Progetto 82VL. So we'll open that and the program we want is the VL depending on which machine you have. You'll, you'll, you have to choose the right program. So once it opens the project, we can see down here in the corner that we have the PLC status is run. And that's what we want. If you don't have run, you have to check that you are connected with the correct COM port. Um, and you can do that again through the setup up at the top. If you open the setup and open CM Studio, it'll take a minute to... Uh, And then you can choose serial.com from the tab and you can click down and choose the port that you want. Mine is port 10, so I'm gonna leave it alone. So once the you have this page open, what we wanna do is we wanna flash the program to the control. And you do that with build PLC and load, this button here. You click that and application is up to date and here we can see that it's transferring the program to the PLC. As soon as it finishes transferring we should have a message that says we were successful. Command was executed successfully. We're going to click OK. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to transmit the video pages and down here in the lower left we've got the video pages if we just click on the video pages it opens up a new tab and now we need to transmit those again we may need to go into setup before and when we go into setup what we want to do is we want to go to serial calm and we want to make sure that all the languages are checked if it's only selected language only or Italian and English, we need to go down here and check all the languages and say OK. Once all the languages are checked, we're going to transfer the video pages to the control. And that's done with this button here at the, on the toolbar called Transmit Video Pages. We'll just give that a click. It says, do you want to transmit the file in all languages? We select Yes. And we can see the bar along the bottom. We're transferring the video pages now to the control. As soon as it finishes transferring the video pages, it's gonna ask us if we want to initiate the variables and we will choose yes for that. Do you want to initialize your variables? Yes. And it is then working again. And the transmission was completed successfully. And then you can go up and close the video pages. And you can look down here in the lower left. It says PLC status run debug. So we've got to open the debug which you can do from the toolbar menu at the top here and we're gonna go to PLC status and we're gonna choose run and you can see down in the lower left that PLC status is now changed to run we click OK or close that window and our control is ready to go we can go ahead and close the, the program and <coughs> and continue on to uh, update the and continue on with loading the parameters 
of your machine back into the control. So to reload the <coughs> parameters for the encoders, you're going to exit out of the main menu or the manual menu. You're going to go back to the main menu and from here if you want you can put it in the language of your choice. If we want English we want F2. So we push F2 and that puts it in English for us. Then we press the constant button and we enter the passwords. 300346 is the password and that takes us to the access parameters. So for each one of the access here, we have X, Y, Z, and V, and also a parameters button. You'll have information for on, on, the, on the data for all of those accesses. So we're gonna start with access X, go in, and if we look on our paper that we have, we can see for X, I have tolerance, inertia, TS, TISP, Watchdog, Vettore. These is this is all the information that we want to enter into the screen here. So to to do that, you're gonna press the tab button on the control, which is located here. And we're gonna scroll to the first one to insert, which is the tolerance. So you can see the cursor flashing here. If I press tab it moves to the tolerance and it's flashing. And on our sheet, we have a value of three. So we're just gonna go ahead and use the keypad here. And we're gonna press three and we're gonna press enter. And now we can see that our tolerance has changed to three. For the inertia, we have two values there, three and one on our paper. So we're gonna just enter three, enter, and one, enter. And you can see that we've changed the values. And you're gonna continue on changing all the values for X, Y, Z, V, L, depending on uh, what you have uh, on, on your machine. Some machines have vertical supports, some have side supports. You'll have the data for each of those. Once you've changed all of the values, you're gonna exit out and to exit out of the parameters menu, you're gonna press F1, and that takes you back to the main menu. And at that point, all of your, uh, your controls should be set ready to go. Just uh, go ahead and check and see if any of your programs were saved. It's possible that when you reflashed all of the, the program and the, and the video pages that we lost your programs. You might have no programs left and if that's the case you have to redo them. But you can make a program, run a test program with no material just to make sure that everything is working properly. If after the entire process you can't get the software to load or it's still not functioning, you'll have to remove the control from the control panel and you'll have to send it into the factory and uh, the factory will repair it further.